Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today we're just gonna do a short stream, just to uh, just to you know play around a little bit, and yeah, then we let's go ahead and rock. So, uh, would you like the webcam down? Oh, I mean, it's up to you. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, I mean, it's fine by me. So. <sighs> Because I said I tested it, I downloaded some of the very basic mods. So I was, I hopped on earlier to test them, make sure that I hadn't completely destroyed the whole save and I'd done things correctly. So okay. It's amazing how quickly everything comes back, but yes. So. I mean, that's, that's good. Yes. That is a good thing. Yeah. So. Uh, do I even want to know what you've done, though? Well, like, okay, so I did the very basic, like I said, the most basic stuff. So the first one is the script extender um, and the patch, which is like a fan made, basically all the very basic bugs that Bethesda never bothered to fix. Um, you know, so it's, so it's you like... So can take care of the trash on the ground? Well, there's, that's a separate one, but yeah, the, the script extender and the patch are like... Um, getting rid of the the power armor uh glitch where when you get out of the power armor you keep the limbs look all funky oh. and just other stability random behind the scenes type things but yes i did get the scrap everything which is the best mod ever and so like the only thing is that you can you have to be careful with it because you can accidentally scrap entire buildings like this yeah uh so <laughs> you do have to be careful and make sure you save frequently, but yes, it's so nice. I can just get rid of all this garbage here. So, and, you know, it's, it's really, like I said, if you're at all into settlement building, which I love, it's very meditative, very just like chill, you know, then I enjoy this a lot, but... Yeah. Soon we're gonna go back up to Sanctuary real quick and see some of the other mods that I installed. But yeah. No, I'm good. Thank you. Yes. Again. Because you know it, it wouldn't be my stream if I'm number one not shoving my face full of food. And number two, you know, technical difficulties. <laughs> oh so. shit. And it's, it's nice, like I said, you can get rid of a lot of stuff that just sits in, you know, and is kind of irritating, like all this fucking garbage, you know, nobody's going to build a settlement here with all this shit. You don't know and, that. Somebody might. I mean, Oscar the Grouch might, but he, I am not Oscar the Grouch. Is ask Oscar the Grouch a nobody? That's the Red Rocket building. That's that's why I have to I have to be careful because otherwise, all right. You should scrap that stim back. No, I didn't scrap the stim back. I picked it up. You get pretty you get something out of pretty much everything you scrap too. So it's a nice way that to to get stuff for your settlement building without having to actually like grab it all. Um, I don't think. Uh, I think that's a separate mod to remove this nasty shit but we did get the sanctuary bridge fixed because no fucking trading settlements with the big ass brahmins are coming through on that broken ass bridge it would you know fucking fall apart the first time somebody walked across it um there's a lot of things i just kind of wonder i'm like why didn't you guys like fix this why did it why does it take a mod to fix this <laughs> you know but let's see if we can find Jump. There you go. You know, I don't think I've ever, ever seen dog meat swimming. No? He always just kind of appears on land with me. I love when they explode like that. It's the greatest. Oh, not that one. Oh, okay, dog meat already got. Alright. Um, 
come on, I know you're around here. I'm not certain I've ever been over here. Really? Near this river. That's, it's like, at least part of it is the, is part of the sanctuary settlement. I think you can actually expand, of course, with another mod. You know, how much. But yeah, this thing goes around all of Sanctuary. It's the lake, and then it's this attached river. So Sanctuary is essentially a little man-made island, you know. So that, you know, and it looks like, of course, like it was bigger pre-war. And I think if you use the modified uh, memory lounger to go pre-war, you can look around and it is bigger and all that stuff. You know, it's very clearly like one of those little planned communities where, you know... Um, like the like we had in, when we lived in the other house. Um, oh, yeah. You know, like the the walking paths all around. Yeah. So. And, which. So, it'll take me a minute, but That's I know fine. they're around here. So, I'm pretty sure there's some around. Chair. Okay, let's get another water. I don't want a bunch of rads. You modded the water so that you take radiation in. No, that's a normal part of the game. Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh God! What did you do to the Meyer Lakes? These don't seem odd to you. I mean, they do, do seem a different color. It's randomized, so I might have to go somewhere else to look for the other. Yeah, because I'm like, I'm not certain I've ever seen a pink Mirelurk, but... I mean, maybe. Oh, come on. Little babies. Yeah, those are normal. Like we kill your mama. <laughs> you kill that mama. I don't know why they talk like a cholo there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you kid my mama. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mess you up, gringo. <laughs> I'm addicted. I will. Why don't you have some vodka with that? I don't think you should mix uh, vodka and opiates like medic. I mean, call me old fashioned. But... You're old fashioned. Okay, so there's a specific color palette to them. I guess I'm gonna have to go searching for some other ones. Uh, I don't think there's any more along this edge, along the edge of the lake. Okay, let's see if we can find somewhere else that my lurks pop up. Yeah, 
phone. Let's go to the Tappington and see if we can find Meyer Lurks there. Okay. Um, but yes, they're a specific color palette. The pink is not normal. They're usually kind of this green, brown, icky, nasty color. Right. Like normal crabs, you know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's like, did you make them a red lobster? No. Uh, God, there's just going to be more fucking blood bugs and shit around here. cables I look over and he's just like staring in he's like, <laughs> yeah and he's like why is my mommy over there let's let's go here and then we'll head over to the coast where we can usually find Meyer Lurks all the time so okay yeah what I don't know I don't know what to expect <laughs> That was like, the point. It's kind of like the thing I saw and it's like completely unexpected. Uh, but you'll like it. And I'm, I will probably keep this one because it's funny. Okay. I like that. So, but I will find... I'll have to find more weird mods. And not the Futanari ones or the, you know, the big, big booby ones or the, you know, little nipple bikini ones. Uh, you don't want jiggle physics either? I do not want just jizzle, watch jizzle her, physics. Watch no. her run and it's like... Boom, boom, boom. No, I'm... I'm... like, ah, that shit looks like it hurt. Yes, it does. Like, all these little fucking frat boys who make that shit don't realize... That's painful as hell. Yeah. Like, even when they're, you know... Hey, they're leasing. Oh, well, I'm sure the prices are fucking outrageous. Yeah. Yeah. In 20, 2077, you think it'd be like 40000 a month? I wouldn't put it past them, especially... M minimum wage is still seven twenty five an hour? <laughs> yeah, I... God, we got into that discussion the other day at work. They were talking about minimum wage and uh, federal minimum wage. And I was like, yeah, it's been seven twenty five since... Since 2007. Since 2007. And I know this because I was on work study... When I was, uh, when I graduated high school in 2007, and I was, so I was considered a federal worker, so I got federal minimum wage, which was $7.25, and it had just increased yeah. a little bit, and I thought it was That's, great. That was a big fucking deal. Oh yeah, it was a huge deal, because suddenly all of the, like, the work yes. study positions were like super competitive. Yeah. You know, even though it's like, oh, you know, you can file papers right. or, yeah. you know, whatever. And yeah, because in 2006 it went up to 685, I think it was, which was a big deal because before that it was 515 yeah. and had been for years. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays, you know, you've got uh, some states, you know, have decided because the fucking federal government isn't doing jack shit about minimum wage anymore. They're doing their, you know, state issued minimum wage in, you know, which is, you know, 12 or 13 an hour, you know, some as high as 15, you know, because they understand that rent and groceries are as out fucking rages. Yeah, like, what can I buy with $7.25? Not a goddamn thing anymore. I, I could buy, like, a candy bar and a Coke, maybe. Right. Depending on where I get it from. Yeah. And, <laughs> I hope like, that that's can't... about how much I had I had on me the other day uh, when I went to work, and I was like, okay, so I've got an hour's worth of minimum wage. I can get a Snickers bar and a coffee, and then I'll have, like, 25 cents left. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> So, 
the joys of being in between paychecks. Right. Uh, my bills are paid. I've put something in savings, so, you know. Yeah. That's... Oh, come on, you're not... Well, that... Uh, Meyer Lurk looks like a Meyer Lurk. Well, he's different colors, too. I see he's kind of purplish. Which, again, makes me wonder, what the fuck did you do to the Meyer class? <laughs> Meyer Lurks. Okay, you're fighting. We're gonna leave one now. Another one popped up. Ah, oh, come on, guys. And I am so yeah. low on ammo for the good stuff. You're certain that mod worked? I thought it. I'm pretty sure it did. It, it was. Oh, fuck. This is. Yes, there's supposed to be one other thing that. Um... We got pink and purple ones. And then... Got pink and, like, purpley blue. I mean, if you can put it together on what it is, that would be cool. But pink and blue. Put pink and blue crabs. Not certain. Okay. I have not run into the right kind of Mirelurk because there's three Mirelurk textures um, and each one has a different one, but for some reason only one of them has like the one that'll like make it, you know. So. Okay. Why am I going west? I shouldn't be going west. I should go east. It's the coast. I thought you said west. SpongeBob. So, yeah, we are not far from good neighbor. I'm not gonna stop in. Are you like a good it. neighbor? I don't know. <laughs> no, uh, we don't have that sort of time today, unfortunately. <sighs> Sadly, we don't right now. So, uh, the plan, everybody, is tomorrow is gonna be more Final Fantasy VII, but. <coughs> <coughs> It might be more Fallout. So, we'll Fallout probably will not just be exclusive to Fridays now because you got me playing my favorite game and now I just don't I don't want to do anything but Yeah. So Yeah. Yeah, yeah I wake up and it's like, Hey, you wanna play Fallout? Uh, no, it's not. No, I'm not saying you, I'm saying like me too. Uh oh, yeah. Like I'm not that obsessed. Yeah. It's all turned around now. Okay, so we're not... Oh, I didn't mean to put a marker there. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, he's not gonna, you know, saw you and harvest your organs like in the show, is he? <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's not Snip but... Snip? No. Dr. Snip Snip? You know, I thought you were gonna have me some sex slave, you know? <laughs> no, what a disgusting thing. I'm just going to pop Mr. Organs. Yeah. Like, uh, well, that's really how, not much better. Yeah, how, how about that sex slave thing? I mean, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Go now, fucking pay. Want your fucking pancakes? Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, Doug, me to run your own. Okay, so I think the castle. That's the airport, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Okay. So. 
castle's not far. The castle always has my lips. So we're just gonna get a few rads here and there. Here and there? It's alright. <laughs> Boston Airport. Oh, God. Don't do voices. But that's what I do. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay. Yo, you want to get fucked up, man? Oh, You're like, alright, I resent it. <laughs> just don't do voices. <laughs> no, just don't do bad Boston accents. I mean, bad Boston accents, the qualifier isn't really necessary. Yeah, but, <laughs> like, but Boston accent No offense is bad. to anybody in Boston. We love you, Boston. But What's your it? accents are atrocious. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Most of the Northeastern accents. Like, people make fun of Southern accents all the fucking time, but, like, Northeast... You New Englanders, you, get, you say shit some weird ways. Yeah. It's like a really healthy, prosperous area. Oh, yeah. I mean, this is the perfect place to put a farm. Mm. Sure, everything will grow great in the fucking sand. <laughs> right? With salt water and shit. Mm. It's like, come on, guys, really? The perfect spot to grow some, you know, razor grain or some corn. Yeah. Mm. It's like the corn comes pre salted for you. Oh, come on. Where are all the fucking wire lurks? I'm getting very, very upset that they're that these mire lurks are hiding from me. When normally I can't keep them fucking off of me. Yeah. I thought the castle was southwest of you. Yeah, it is. I, I think I just got a little turned around uh, when I got to the airport and went the wrong way. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't want to go into the castle because there's a Mire Alert Queen in there, and I'm definitely not ready for the Mire Alert Queen. Yes, but... Queen Slay? <laughs> uh, no, she's like very much, you know, got to use a fucking mini nuke on it. Yeah. But, you know, like, oh my god. Calling a fucking missile strike from the SpaceX or whatever. Not SpaceX. For, uh, Space Force. From Elon's helping us out? <laughs> you know he would have a missile if he could. Oh, I know he I'm would. I'm sure he's got plenty of missiles. Well, apparently he recently threatened Tesla to give him his 25% shares back. Or he's not going to give us AI and robots. And I'm like, no. fuck off, douchebag. Like, you're not Boston Dynamics. Well, it's also like, you're not, like, that's the beauty of it, is that it doesn't belong to one person, and it's not like you are the only, you know, person in the world who can figure out AI and robots. In fact, I doubt you could at all. Right. Because. So, Elon, if you're watching my stream, you suck. Okay? <laughs> you fucking suck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Go read uh, Steven Seagal's AMA on Reddit and just apply your name to Steven Seagal's. And, it was yeah. beautifully disastrous. Steven or Steven Seagal's AMA. I was about to say Stephen King. But no, you fucking stuff he... suck, King. <laughs> no, he doesn't suck. Except for the ending of eleven twenty two sixty or. Yeah. Yeah. Eleven twenty two sixty three. You do suck for that. Even though it was an amazing book. Yeah. That and that was the only way it could have possibly ended. 
I still, it broke my heart. And you're a horror writer. You're not supposed to break my heart. You're a horrible writer. Whoa. No, he's a great writer, and I like a lot of his other work. Uh, However, I can't, I don't, I don't want to give spoilers to anybody who hasn't written it. Also, you're not really going to understand it unless you've... The f- that is the Chinese sub. Oh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I forgot about that, dude. Yeah. Um, Zhang Zhao? Something like that? Yeah, I forget his exact name. It's something with a Z. Yeah. But yeah, you can go and help him reactivate his sub so he can go home. Yeah. Essentially. He got stuck here. Uh, it's kind of like, what is this, Pearl Harbor in 1941? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Oh, he's very nice. He's a ghoul now. So, oh. And you can... Like that's I like that they included that. I'm I'm sad that it's not a bigger uh, quest. Um, but yeah, you you go and you can basically help him reactivate his sub. I forget exactly what you have to do, but um, you help him reactivate his sub so he can go home, because he's like I've been sitting here for two hundred odd years and. Everything's destroyed and nothing was worth it. But I do want to see home one more time, you know, so. Yeah. <laughs> run! Run! I'm running again. What the fuck <laughs> is going on? No, no, no. Run up, stupid. <laughs> Why the hell? Oh my god. Talk. <gasps> Wee! Alright, I guess, uh. Not every glitch was taken care of with this patch. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Bethesda game unless you were doing something fucking weird like that, you know? Yeah. But. Just keep an eye on Ted. Oh. Let's take some bread away. And some rabbit eggs. And eat some dad. I have so much alcohol. I don't know. Is your booze hand? Apparently. Can't leave them on, is it? Make them easier to kill. No. I wouldn't be falling out if I wasn't being assaulted by crabs. Yeah. As Hancock says, though, one time, it's like, you know, there's nothing more satisfying than eating something that tried to eat you first. Yeah. You know? so, <laughs> I'm like, you know what? You are 100% right, dude. Yeah. I mean, he's 100% right about everything, but... Do you think he'd eat ass jerky, too? I don't think he would, No. <laughs> That's uh, kind of what has pissed me off about the Fallout show. Not that, like, there's a bad character, but, like, <laughs> I have a kind of, like, minor obsession with ghouls. And not just because of Hancock, because he's my absolute favorite character, but because I find the lore of ghouls and the whole concept just really interesting and cool. And the TV show is screwing with the lore. In ways that don't make sense, and it fu- and it me- it pisses me off. Um, but also, like, because of this, because of my like minor obsession, um, I really wish we had more sentient ghoul characters in the games and stuff. Um, I mean, in Fallout Four, we actually get quite a few because of Good Neighbor, and there's 
quite a few also um, in three because of, um, what's it called? You might want to quick save or even yeah. see if there's a bed or something in there. Yeah. But uh, anyway, no, um, we get quite a few sentient ghoul characters and I enjoy them. I think they're interesting and a lot of fun and all that. But the single solitary ghoul character that's that's like recurring and isn't there for more than just like, you know, 10 minutes at most in this TV show so far has been the ghoul, which first of all, give him a fucking name, you, you pricks. Um, second of all, like, I know he has a name, you know, because, you know, he's pre-war smooth skin, but, like... Wow, are you uh, just gonna drop that sort of language on my stream? Smooth skin? <laughs> yeah. That's not, it's not... It's never really made to be a, uh, a pejorative term. Yeah. Um, it's just a way of differentiating you. Yeah. You know? But, uh, you fucking smear skin. Well, I mean, yeah, it obviously can be used. It just like you know, whatever. But um, ah, here we go. Do you recognize it? I'm getting killed. Recognize it, suck it. Kill it. Is it supposed to be Zoidberg? Yes. The crabs are Zoidbergs. <sighs> oh. The Meyerlips are Zoidbergs. <laughs> oh my god. I also, uh, I couldn't get it to download probably, so I'm gonna have to do it, but I am gonna add Meyerlips, or er, Zoidberg noises to the Meyerlips. Oh, okay. Alright, that, that would be fine. Yeah. But yeah. That's why they're bright red and some of them are blue, because it's alternate universe Zoidberg. Oh, right, right, I forgot about the Ultimate The box team. says yeah. Which I think is one of the best Zoidberg <laughs> moments because Zoidberg's such a loser that even alternate Zoidberg is better than him. <laughs> right? I should have uh -huh. known when you said it was with the Meyer Lurks. I should have. That's why I was kind of, like, confused that you didn't get it, you I, know? I'm like, really the bright red? Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, clock. <laughs> <laughs> clock. <laughs> anyway, yeah, Zoidberg is the best crab in the world. I really would like to see the mobile oppression palace, but sadly, I did not find that in here. So, yes. Okay, so. Ah, shit, I didn't mean to take that. Oh, no, drugs. <laughs> Usually that's how everybody starts. Whoops, didn't mean to take that. I Golly. genuinely didn't. <laughs> but now we're going to go back. Oh. So should I dub this the Zoidberg? The hunt for Zoidberg? The hunt for Zoidberg, sure. Or, or, hold on. My brain's <laughs> trying to put it together. It's trying to put a... Uh, Star Trek 3, The Search for Spock, sort of fun. <laughs> but, uh, so I was going to say Fallout 3, The Search for Zoidberg, but I'm like, no, no. It's Fallout 4. It's Fallout 4. But, yeah. but then the joke isn't as good, because... Yeah. I do wish that it wasn't just a recolor. I wish it was... An actual Zoidberg model. That would be nice, but I think that's a bit overly complex, and I'm not sure you could apply the same animations and mechanics to that. Okay. But, you know. Okay. I'm sorry, boy, I don't have a stim pack. <laughs> but what we are going to do is we're going to fast travel... <laughs> back to Diamond City. And you should probably so level up, too. Yeah. Um, and almost time to, to go. Yeah. But um, we yeah. can get some... Uh, Apologies again. Like I said, it's a short episode. Uh, but. So it's sort of a last minute, you know. 
Hey, why don't we do something? <laughs> yeah, well. You see, they still have 24-hour stores. Right? I mean, COVID didn't ruin Diamond City. Granted, we are lucky. We have Winco down the street. That's 24 hours. Yeah, I love Winco. You say what? <laughs> Let's take a look. The highest quality available. All right. Let's sell the bourbon and the buff out. You don't need to be. Are you gonna keep the chef hat? Is sure. It's... Why not? We don't need mines. They're mine, not his. No, they're mine. <laughs> we don't need the jet. We haven't got handcuffed yet, so we don't need quite this many drugs. Although I could just walk around naked. Wait until Hancock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, when I get Hancock, I can. If you know, the the quickest way to get his uh, affinity is to um, fast travel around naked and do a bunch of drugs. Gotcha. Uh, I should clarify for our viewers at home. Um, we played Fallout in completely different ways. I was constantly being told that I was playing the game wrong because I didn't travel with companions. The whole point of 4 is the companions. Like, the companions are the best part of four, so. And I, you got me into Hancock, so I, I agree. But, like with playing Skyrim and uh, Legend of Zelda and whatnot, I tend not to like jump on the horse. I tend to travel just alone, and you know I get forty rods to the hog's head, and that's the way I likes it. <laughs> All right, Grandpa. <laughs> okay, cool. Got some stim packs. And... Everything's closed except for Percy. One thing worth buying in Nagori. Shut up. Oh, okay. <laughs> You mean where I can find Kate? That sounds cool. The combat zone? I don't remember that. It's, um, the, it's, they say it's a bar. It's like, um, a pre-war theater that has been basically turned into, like, fight club cage fighting type thing. Uh, okay. And, uh, um, Kate is the star. And so you can come in, you can kill what's his face and all the other raiders. And then he basically lets you take Kate because she's like a slave, indentured servant, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah. you, um, you know what companion I would have traveled with? Buddy the beer droid. He's not the beer droid, he's drinking, buddy. Yeah, and you know what? He's my friend, which means I don't have to call him by his full name. I can just call him Buddy. And he's my beer droid. <laughs> you wish. I do. Buddy, hands down, no joking, Buddy is my favorite character. <laughs> he doesn't do anything except he, for hand you beers. And tell bad jokes sometimes. <sighs> What about what's his face from seventy six? That was one good part of seventy six. Um, oh, the beer making robot. Yeah, I can't <laughs> think of his damn name now. Yeah, that did make the me robo brain. That did make me smile, but I mean, Buddy is the OG. Like, yeah, Buddy is the OG, but you know, 
You know, technically he's not the OG because you had a beard droid in 3 and a Megaton. Did you? Or yes. you had some sort of robot because it would be like, hey, tell me a joke. Yeah, and, he was like the sheriff or something. Yeah. Because um, there was the one, there was the dude, the actual human, and then he was a deputy, that's what it was. There was the sheriff, the human sheriff, and then the deputy. Yeah. yeah. So. But I didn't shoot him. Well, I didn't either, so. <laughs> He shot up his office, but <gasps> what? But not him. Uh, okay. Not, not, not the robot deputy. Yeah, but I don't care. Yeah, Buddy's the OG. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, Buddy is the OG. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, any beer droids or anything. Although it's kind of like, well, of course, people would be doing that. And mm. yeah, you, you you have to get a good neighbor to get Buddy. So yeah, um, I remember. I remember. Yeah, and then you can sit him at any of your settlements you want. So yeah, I just so. always pictured him like walking through a war zone, and he's just like, "Howdy, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> Raiders are like, "Fucking shoot him!" He's, he's like, "A." <laughs> <laughs> Offers a beer to anybody. That's right. Which would be nice, but it's a little early in the day for beer. So. That's fair. So. 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 Alrighty. So. We, why did I leave Diamond City? Because all my quest was in there. Did you uh, know... Uh, stop for a sec. Uh-huh. Did you know that apparently there's a mod that... Or, like, maybe it's with a jetpack on the power armor. Uh-huh. But apparently there's, like, a hidden room up here. Um, that, uh, like, if you go in, it was a room that was programmed and the Bethesda was planning on using it. But it was one of those, like, hey, we ran out of time. We're not going to use it. So just dump it in yeah. a random place. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I I recently learned about that just oh, a couple weeks ago. I'll check that out because I hadn't heard that. Um, but that's why there's the um, the weird dolphin creature things all over the place because there was supposed to be an underwater vault and a whole quest line with that. Yeah, which stuff. would have been great considering you know open the map. Yeah, I mean, how much of this map is just fucking water and coastline? And there's Far Harbor. And, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, this is this is the problem with rushing games into release instead of allowing them to completely... Ex- like, I get that, you know, anytime there's a storyline, there's always going to be, like, subplots and stuff that are scrapped. I'm a writer, I get that. But if the only reason you're scrapping it is for time then you're probably rushing shit and you should slow down. So, yeah, you know, it's like, there's, there's a lot that unfortunately is unfinished, um, which is impressive because, ah, shit. Ah, no, God, no, I ain't doing that shit right now. Um, impressive because this game is actually really quite immersive and, well, Don, you will hear me sing the praises of Fallout 4 all day. But, um, there's a lot that was unfortunately unfinished. And I think the reason that people don't like Preston is because they did not take the time to do the Minuteman quest lines and quest giving and all that stuff properly. You know, they just kind of half-assed it and... Yeah. You know, not half-assed it. Like no offense to the developers, because it's it's the corporate overlords who force that shit. Yeah, you know. But still, yeah. You know, um, speaking of things unfinished, we should probably call it. Yeah, let's call it here. Okay, so we are going to quit, save, and quit. Okay, cool. All right, so so go Decapodian Mirelurks. Party. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time. I guess.